Welcome to Utah's Fly Corner. Today I'm going to show you how to tie a uh, wiggle nymph. It's just a color combination and uh, one I do for uh, Hendrickson hatches. Um, I'll show you how to do the make the wiggly part here. I'll show you how to tie that part. Pretty simple and easy. And then how to do the front portion here. Um, once you once you tie a bunch, they're, they're pretty easy to do. Um, but just uh, it's a pretty effective nymph. But let's get started. And uh, first, I'll show you how to how to make these uh, sections pretty easy. Just hold the hold it in your between your finger and thumb by the hook eye, and you just need yourself some snips like these, and then simply just. And I recommend holding this piece over a garbage can because. It goes flying. But that's that piece there. Okay, now that we got our piece, uh, the bend of the hook cut off, to straighten the eye of the hook out, all you got to do is take yourself a pair of pliers. Make sure that you don't, you don't pinch right down on the eye. Pinch, put the eye in there a ways and get that gap that bend and then just squeeze the pliers. It's going to flatten it out. To get it completely flat just press it I can do it here on my voice just press down on it gently until you feel it bend out pretty straight. It doesn't have to be completely straight. Okay so now that we got the eye straightened out what we're going to do is just open the jaw vices and sit the eye right in there. Then we can tie on it. Don't try and bend it anymore with the eye and the jaw like that or else you'll snap the eye right off. Doesn't matter if it's completely straight. Now this body's a little too long on this one. So I'm not looking to make uh, anything uh, Drake size. So I'm just going to take the pliers and uh, snip some off. But then to make the back part, it's really simple. Just start your thread, wind it down, break your tag off, and bring it on back. Now watch the end of that wire, don't the end of the hook there that you cut off. That's gonna be that's pretty sharp. So what I like to do real quick since I chopped it again, let's come in with a little sallies and to drop right over top of that. Now I'll level level it out so there's not a a burr there. And then all you gotta do um, is ostrich roll. I'm just gonna do this one with just straight brown, um, but you can make some uh, pretty funky colors from uh, cool, pretty cool looking. Uh, flies with uh, using a couple different strands of different colors. But for this one I'm just going to do straight brown. And for this size of fly I'm going to go with uh, with three. And I come down here towards the tips and then just pinch. I'm pinching real tight here. And just break those off. Get them even. Now that we're even I'm just going to get a little bit of a tail here. I don't want much. And just tie that on. Then you want to sneak one in front. Nice and tight. One behind. And then I pull these guys down. And I'm going to make a dubbing loop. the loop on. And what I'm going to do, i got a Mark Pettijan uh, bobbin here, so it's got the dubbing loop right on it. So I'm just going to spin my bobbin. Once i got a nice rope made, I'm just going to take my uh, vise 
I use a Regal Revolution vise. I'm just going to take the device, get it started back here, and then just wind it right on up. Lock my vise back in. I'm just going to take that off. And don't be uh, gentle when, if you got a patch on and you do this part, be uh, pretty firm uh, when you're pulling that off. It'll come off a heck of a lot easier. And just tighten down, tie it off, bring one in front, tie it off, and just snip that out of the way. It's my tag for my loop and then I just whip finish now with your whips if you whip by hand this makes it a lot easier to do this whip and get it in a good secure spot because I'm just throwing the whips right against the jaws and letting them fall down onto the fly just tighten it up that time my thread snapped but it'll be okay because now we're going to go with the next step. So I just, I'm just fluffing this stuff out, getting it to sit the way I want. Usually I have to come in with a bodkin and give this a little push to get those fibers to sit right. I just stroke them down on top and come in with the scissors nice and flat. Snip them off to the top. And turn it over to the bottom, stroke them down one more time, come in with your scissors, and snip those guys out of there. Easy as pie. And then one last step. You can either use a UV resin, which I do that a lot, or just use uh, some varnish. I do this just for extra protection, but with a dubbing loop done like that, um, it makes it uh, pretty pretty durable on its own. So you can actually skip this part, but I also like to do it for the sake of uh, keeping the fibers to the sides. It'll lock them in. Just dab some uh, head cement right in the middle. That'll really keep them together. Now you can see they're real wide. If you're doing a uh, you know a bigger size nymph, that's fine to leave them like that. But what I like to do is I come in on an angle, and I taper, taper the gill plates, uh, the gill fibers, or whatever you want to call. Them. Come in on an angle again, and just make a cut. And that's the the back part. If I pop it out of the, the jaws of the vise, and then I just neaten up the part here by the hook eye. Just neaten that up, but that's it. That's the, your wiggle, your abdomen of your fly. Okay, so now we're going to um, attach our wiggly part to the to the actual body of the fly. Uh, we're going to tie the at, uh, thorax of the fly on a, what I got here in the vise is a Daiichi um, 1150. I'm just going to use uh, Eight Oak Uni and Camel Brown. Just going to lay down a layer of thread. And we're going to go around the bend a little bit, not by much. Break my tag end off. What I have here is monofilament. Ten pounds. Ten pound test. I'm just going to tie that in. Make sure it's tied in good here. Extra. Snip it off. Just lace it through.
I want to make a little loop line. this up a little bit. Now she's sitting how we want. Now of course for me grabbing and holding this the uh, gills are all smashed down on the sides but once that goes into water they'll, they'll all lay out and splay out the way they're supposed to. But that's it there. A little wiggly. Wiggly jiggly. Make sure that's tied in tight. Snip it off. Now we're ready to start rocking and rolling. The first thing we're going to do is take some more brown ostrich roll. Three of them. Or you can even take the uh, pieces you have left if they were long enough from your, from your front piece. And tie those in. Now make sure you don't tie any more onto that body there or else uh, to your loop of line or else you're going to um, limit the mobility of your wiggliness. What we're going to do is just wrap these around here in the back, stroke this fiber, these fibers back. Just come around, just stroke them back. Basically what we're doing is just making a shroud to kind of cover up the link. We're going to break, snip those off. Bring your thread back to the point to where your hurl barbs are. What we're going to do is just come with the scissors flat. Snip. And snip. Run flat. And snip. Hold your thread up. And snip. There we go. Looking, looking buggy already. Now we're going to tie in the wing case. This is black diamond braid. It's got a green shine to it. It's a flat diamond braid. Uh, hairline makes it. Just catch that in on the top. Loose wrap. Start tightening it up. Bring it on back. Bring it on back. Bring it right on back. Right to there. Tie him in. Okay, okay. Now that we got that tied in, what we're going to do is dub, 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 dub. The dubbing I like to use is a, just a brown rabbit hair with an inch around it. Gives it some uh, good sparkle. You want to just take a clump of dubbing. That's how you dub shaggy bodies quick. You just want to take a clump of dubbing. You just want to get it started on the thread like that. Then hold the dubbing clump in your hand and your bobbin in your hand. And then just start wrapping it. and then pull it on it. See that? You pull on it and you rack it. That's all you gotta do. You just keep on doing that until you get enough of a body built up. Once you're done, just pull that dubbing away from your thread. 
bring your thread up, catch it in. Anybody that's too long, just come in and snip them out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put some legs on it. What I have here is a dark partridge feather. Find these on the back part of the skin. If you have a skin, they're easy to find. But I just stripped all the fluff off. Now I'm just going to grab the tip of the feather. Just going to stroke the fibers back. And I just hold it and break the tip off. Stroke these back forward. Those are going to serve as our legs. And then I just bring that V in. Get them the distance you want. I like to bring it in on a top angle like this. Of course the fuzzy hair is going to get in the way. But I like them to be about the same length as the whole thorax is. That way you get some action out of them. And I just pinch those down and on the sides. Pinch them tight so they don't go anywhere. And just tie them on. See how they're sitting? Looking pretty mean. Mean being good. Snip those out of the way. Get fuzz on her eye here. Get this little bit of dubbing out of here the way of the eye. The way the eye's clear. Just bring your wing case over. Hold it tight. Put your finger on the top. Don't let it roll. And lift up tight after you got a couple and pull down tight with the thread. Just be careful you don't break your thread. You gotta know your thread limits to do that. Take a look at how it's sitting. You can splay the diamond braid then. Put your finger. If you want it a little bit wider on there. That's good. I like to fold it back a little bit, wrap right in front. And snip it out of the way. Sure, you get all of it. Snip it out of the way. And I'm just gonna attempt to stroke every bit of stuff back here. And just form yourself ahead. Now, like I said, I'm trying to. This is a good tie for a Hendrickson. So, Hendrickson's have uh, pretty big heads on them. Well, that's about good. I'm going to whip finish. Get my thread under control, which I did. Keep everybody back. Tighten that whip up. If this, that's pretty much the fly, but then to jazz it up a little bit, I like to come in with that uh, bug bond light. And just put a nice drop on this wing case here. You can let it come down onto the head. Don't get this stuff on the legs. All right, if you get a little bit on the dubbing. That first batch likes to soak down in, which that's fine. And then the second batch hit it with the white. And just hit it with the white. And the white around. Get your resin on the other side. That's the wiggle nymph. That's my Hendrickson wiggle nymph. I'm Johnny Utah. Check me out on my site, www.
utahsflycorner.com. Thanks for watching.